you know that when you're at a party and you hear that sound, it's gonna be a good night. Mm -hmm. But did you know that there are different kinds of bubbly? At the end of the day, it all does the same thing. So why does it matter so much? because it does. Take it from general manager at Merkin Vineyards in Scottsdale, Arizona, Jim Cunningham, who is uncorking a few popular types of sparkling wine for us. Let's start with Prosecco. Probably one of the more common types of sparkling wine you can find in the marketplace right now. It hails from primarily northeastern Italy. You can't call it Prosecco unless it comes from a specific region and is made with a certain grape. The specific grape with this is actually called Glera. Okay. And Jim says you can grab a decent bottle starting at around 15 bucks. So what are we going to be looking for? Larger bubbles. I mean, it's gonna be a little more effervescent. A lot of fruit, a lot of bright, juicy flavors in there. What do they say in Italy? Salud. 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 <laughs> Give it a swirl, a little sniff, and sip away. Man, that packs a punch. Now we are pouring up some cava. In Spain, cava is gonna be their version of sparkling wine. The bubbles are gonna be a little finer, a little more minute, so it, it'll tickle your tongue just a little bit differently as well. He says it has a similar profile to a traditional champagne. But you're gonna find it for about half the cost. Yep, he says you can grab a bottle of cava starting for about 10 bucks. You don't want sound. Some people love that pop. That's my favorite sound, Jim. But he says that pop means there's too much carbonation releasing. You want about as much sound as a nun farting would release. A what? That, I'll say a nun's fart. <laughs> Give it a pour and get to sipping. Switch from a little more fruit towards a little more toasty, nutty, bready. And for our final toast, champagne. In order to be called champagne, it must come from the Champagne region of France. Specific grapes can go into this bottle. There's a very specific process. That's part of the reason why it costs so much. He says bottles can run us anywhere from $20 to the thousands. There we go. Yay! So right away you notice the carbonation level. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't kidding. A little sniff a sniff. Oh! Okay, go light on the sniff, then give it a taste. Not as much fruit as some of the other stuff we tried. A little more bready, yeasty. It's like a symphony of the senses. Mm -hmm. Keeping it popping with Bubbly 101.